I'm just proud of these guys. I mean, so many guys contributed tonight. Um, I mean, I feel like Dante was on base every at bat. I don't know if he was. I mean, set the tone there. Um, man, Brandon, you know, had a tough night, but he played good defense, made a couple plays, picked us up there. Uh, Bingham, huge hit to put us ahead in the bottom of the eighth. Um, Barry, I mean, line drive machine as usual, per usual. Holgate hitting the ball to the middle of the field with runners in scoring position. Um, you know, Daniel Susak, I mean, that's, that's doesn't get any better than that, period. I mean, all night long. Um, it was his birthday today, too, so it was a pretty good birthday. Uh, Tony Bullard, um, I mean, it's it's not going to get noticed in this game, but to put the ball in play with two strikes when we were down 12-9 to get that run in to make it 12-10. And then Nick, I mean, you know, being Nick, getting on base, driving guys in, playing spectacular defense. And then you can't stop there. I mean, when you look at the bench, I mean, Chase Davis's pinch hit walk, um, you know, set the tone in that eighth inning for us to take the league. Jacob Blass had a pinch hit. Two walks, I believe he was on base twice. Um, and then Tyler Casagrande with, you know, that's that's professional hitting right there. And, and the guy doesn't get to play all the time. So really proud of that. I mean, we really overcame a lot. Um, it's kind of a weird game. Um, you know, the, the, we struggled on defense, obviously, but who gives a crap right now? I mean, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow and, and working on I'm just, I'm so proud of my team. Like, I, I'm literally the same as you, Sean, like, I just said a lot, but I'm I'm at a loss for words. I'm so proud to be those guys' coach right now. Yeah, I, I think it's it's the ability to focus on the task at hand, no matter what is going on around you, and that's what they did. I mean, I, I'm so pleased with the poise. We we got out of ourselves a little bit tonight, like, and and it was we'll address that, and and it's not anything crazy or abnormal, but it was a little bit out of character. And what I'm really proud of is we circled the wagons twice, literally in the middle of the game and got back on track and put up two or three runs and then put up two or three runs and then stayed with it. And if, if that doesn't give you the confidence in your approach, in your maturity, in your ability to do that, I don't know what will, but I'm, that's what I'm proud of. I mean, the, them hitting the ball the other way and not trying to do too much with runners in scoring position. I mean, that's, that's talented players staying in plan. And that's the baseball side of it. But there was so much more to that game that says who they are as people that, um, man, like it's, it's impressive. It's, it's impressive to be around. That's as good a win as I ever have had as a coach. And I mean that sincerely, just in terms of uh, the fabric of what happened in that game and, and how they overcame stuff and stayed with it. Was Kobe Cotto's night kind of emblematic of the team's night? He had a couple errors in the field, but really redeemed himself at the plate. Yeah, the guy's an All-American in my book this year. I mean, he, he should be on one of these All-American teams. And so um, we've won so many games because of Kobe, um, you know, in his play that, you know, he made it had a tough night defensively, but showed everything about him as a person to come up and hit that triple um, which got us two big runs back after it looked to get a little bit sideways on us. And so I'm proud of him. I mean, he's a, he's what our, our pro entire program is about. And he displayed that tonight. Sure. And you've discussed repeatedly um, how much Daniel Susak has improved at the plate. Was that evident tonight in a couple of those hits? Like yeah, the, professional the, the one down the, the one yeah. down the third base line with the bases loaded um, being a prime example of that professional hitting there's not a better catcher in, in college baseball right and I mentioned Kobe's an all-american Daniel's an all-american there's several of them on the team and um you know his poise I mean and uh how on it he was in that last at bat not trying to do too much and then the two strike triple you know earlier in the game that picked us up a big three runs and hitting a mistake down the left field line he's just he's always had talent he's always had power he could always impact the baseball but he's turning into a, a professional hitter before our eyes and it's it's great to see yeah just trying to stay pitch by pitch not getting too caught up in what had already happened um i try to stay um focus on the next pitch no matter what happened even if it didn't go my way i know that i'm prepared and i'll i'll be ready to to play what does this win mean for the team and what does this win say about the team um, I just think that uh, it shows how resilient we've been all year. We've been resilient all year in 
um, games like this where we've had to fight back and um, coming going down three runs in the last inning and fighting back, especially with guys coming up and making getting big hits, especially guys off the bench. Um, like I said, Tyler Casagrande, that was the biggest at bat of the game, I think. Um, two strike hit, got it going, and then Dan Dan got it to us. Sure. Um, when you know that you've gotten the winning hit and your teammates are going to swarm you and probably dogpile you, what is your what's your strategy? Are you trying to get away? Or are you trying to protect yourself? Are you just trying to enjoy the moment? What's what do you do? Well, I know I'm going to get hit eventually, so I guess just wear it and just stand there and let him tackle you. So that's what I did. Is that fun? Is that just sort of the yeah. kind of thing you dream about? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, so earlier in the game, uh, we had bases loaded, no outs, and then we got to two outs. And so the main thing with uh, my at-bat coming up was to not try to do too much and just get at least one run. You uh, can't go bases loaded and not score anybody. So that was just big for me. And then obviously got down 0-2, a little late on the fastball. So just tried to get down early and not try to do too much. And then got lucky and hit in the right spot. Um, it's just a little bit of adversity. I think it's good for our team, um, something that we're definitely going to have to handle with a lot. And uh, I think that's just another testament to how good our offense can be at any point. Um, never really out of it, especially uh, Tyler Casagrande in the last inning, pinch hit, 0-2 single, and that's huge. So to walk us through the at-bat in the 10th inning, what are you thinking? What are you looking for? Um, so main thing, he threw me first pitch slider. And uh, so then I was sat a 1-0 slider. Um, which I don't typically do, but uh, based off his scouting report and based off it's righty righty with uh, an open base, I kind of just said, you know what, maybe I'll just sit slider here, fouled it off back. And then uh, I think I got a good enough swing on it where they were uh, kind of like, I don't know if we should go that, to that pitch again right there. So then threw me a fastball kind of middle, middle away, just not try to do too much, hit it backside.